kind of a boring day today. It's kind of weird. Weird? Weird? Why? It's, it's funner than usual. Hmm? Sitting around? I mean, we've been doing all these skits for like 13 weeks where we go and we travel and we see the world and ride in planes and trains and hot air balloons. Hot air balloons. And buses. And buses and breaking down. <sighs> we had some good times. I see Anything imaginable, that's right. <laughs> but we, yeah, we had some good, we had some good times. We had some real good times. Hey, remember when we went to... No, 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 what, no, no, what? No more flashbacks. No flashbacks? I thought we liked flashbacks. No, we didn't, it took up half of the time. We almost missed our bus because of a flashback. Well, Everybody then, loves a good flashback. But, but, then what are we gonna do? We're just, we're gonna, just gonna do a regular skit where we dress up in costumes right now. Another day, another baptism. Oh, yeah. Another day in the mind of John the Baptist. Oh, oh. It's water. <laughs> A little chilly this morning. Ugh, the water is so cold. Why don't we just go home? Stop complaining. I tell you, the Lord called us to do something. We gotta do our job. We will baptize people today. Oh, oh. What? No, we're not shaving the beard. I don't care if it's too itchy. Goodbye. That was the brain. Uh, mm. Shave the beard. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, look. It's the Pharisees again. Oh. Oh, boy. Here come the Pharisees again. <sighs> hey, maybe we should baptize them. No, they haven't even shown the fruit of repentance. They hadn't put their faith in the Lord. These guys are getting on our nerves all the time. Give me the control. Yes. No, hey, hey, somebody put control him there. Control yourself. Oh, it's the nerves. They're talking about the Pharisees. I think we tell them to go away and return when they show the fruit of repentance. These guys are always getting hey, on hey, their nerves. sit hey. down. Control sit yourself. Sit down, flesh. Oh, it's the nerves. Talking about the Pharisees. Oh, stop complaining. Yep, he's right here. Okay, I'll tell him. The stomach's hungry. It's time for lunch. Who's cooking today? We still have so many people to baptize. Hey, look, look, there's some locusts and some wild honey over there. Uh, no. I don't think they agreed to that yesterday. <laughs> well, it's all we have. Yeah. Hey, guys. This guy seems like the real deal. I, I think he's putting his trust in the Lord. Yeah. You, you think we should do it? Yeah. Yeah, we should do it. Let's baptize. Three, two, one. 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 You know, we, we're doing pretty good today. Uh, about 30, 35. Maybe 40 people baptized today. Maybe we should go home now that we got so many people trusted in Christ. Doesn't matter how many. At least we're doing the work of the Lord. Yeah! Amen! Fear the Lord. Can you at least tone it down a little? Never! Yeah! Woo! Fear the Lord, too. Just tone it down a bit. You want to tone down Jesus? No! Woohoo! Oh. 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 Guys! Did you see that guy over there? Oh. That, that's the guy! It's that's him! That's him! It's that's him! him. No. It's him! You see that? You see that? Dude, get out! Say it! Say it! Behold the Lamb of God! Hey! Welcome, welcome to man. Junior Church! We're not in Junior Church! We're in the nursery! Oh, is that why it smells like dirty diapers? <laughs> <laughs> I no. thought that was just Noah. Uh, no, <laughs> it doesn't smell like dirty diapers. But that's right, we are. We thought we'd mix it up today because today is a new day. Yeah. Today we are starting something brand new. You saw our skit there about John the Baptist. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll tell you what, it's a good thing that flesh didn't get control. Yeah. He was ready <laughs> to go. Done to the Pharisees. <laughs> That's right. That's right. But no, we are starting a new series on New Testament characters this week, uh, starting with John the Baptist. But you know what's not new? What's going on in Junior Church oh, every yeah. Sunday and every Wednesday? Happy campers. That's right. I, I tell you what, we're three weeks in now. It's our third Sunday. Yeah. Yep. Boys and girls are doing a great job. They're bringing visitors. 
They're memorizing their verses. They're they're showing up the church. Uh, hey, you know what I saw? Somebody, I, there was a couple, they had all kinds of beads already. Yeah, some already got like 16 beads. Wow. That's, That's right. Hey, you know beads. what? More beads you have, the better chance you have of winning those yep. prizes. Yeah, we got a tent. I don't know if you saw a tent yeah. set up back there yeah, now. There's a tent yep. in Junior Church. That's part of the reason we can't shoot back there, run out of space. Uh, so that's yeah. going on. So, hey, if you can, Sunday morning, 1030, Wednesday night at 7 o'clock, the more you come, the more beads you get, the better you have, a or better chance you have of winning a prize. Well, you know, I'm excited to learn about our New Testament characters, so we need to move on. Music time is right around the corner, so let's get started with Junior Church right, right now. Hey, -o. hey! Welcome to song time! It's, bam, bam, bam. it's music it's time. It's music time. We've been doing it for <laughs> four years. It's music time. Did you know, hey, four years, did you know when we started online Junior Church, Levi was only four years old. He's just a little guy. I tell you why. He's come a long way. But um, what are we gonna sing today? Mm. Mm. Well, mm. I was thinking about how Emma was the joy of the Lord. Why don't we just sing the song, "The Joy of the Lord"? <gasps> That's a good song. It's one of my favoritos. There we go. All right. Hey, and you know what? It does have a lot of motions, so we can sing it sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, 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 I see what you did ah, there. Ah, okay, all right. All right, everybody ready? The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Oh, the joy of the Lord is my strength. He fills my soul with laughter. Ha, 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 ha. He fills my soul with laughter, ha, 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 ha. He fills my soul with laughter, ha, 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 ha. Oh, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Ha, 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 Oh, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Good job. Ha, ha, ha. All right, boys and girls, it's time for the Bible lesson. I tell you what, I'm pretty excited about doing the Bible lesson from a table that's only two feet tall. It's kind of different. Funny, but different. No, if you have your Bibles today, we are going to learn about John the Baptist today. Open your Bibles to John chapter number one. John chapter one, and we're going to begin reading in verse number six. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe he was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. John bare witness of him and cried. Let's look at verse 15 here. Saying, This was he of whom I spake. He that cometh after me is preferred before me, for he was before me. Okay, so today we look into the life of John the Baptist. Okay, so when I think about people today, you think about their names, their titles, and whatnot. Like, I am Matthew Knotts, right? Or maybe it's uh, Brother Tony Patterson. Or maybe it's Mr. Leroy Jenkins. Maybe your teacher at school. But everybody has titles and names, right? Everybody has a first, well, most people have first name, last name. Sometimes we have middle names, right? Well, John the Baptist had the same middle name as Winnie the Pooh. Did you know that? Just kidding. John the Baptist, Winnie the Pooh. I know, it's a terrible joke, <laughs> but John the Baptist was a title given to John simply because he baptized a lot of people. It's what he did. He, he took people down to the Jordan River and baptized them, dunked them under the water, and brought them back up. So he became known as John 
the Baptist. And today we're going to learn about how he got his start. You see, John the Baptist had a very special birth. His birth was announced by an angel of the Lord. His dad, Zacharias, and his mom, Elizabeth, they were told, your son is going to be a special prophet. He's going to be used of God. John is going to be used of God. And fun fact, John the Baptist is the cousin to Jesus. Did you know that? John the Baptist and Jesus were cousins. What? Yeah, because look, Elizabeth, John the Baptist's mom, was the cousin to Mary, the mother of Jesus. And John the Baptist was born just six months earlier than Jesus. So not only were they cousins, John the Baptist and Jesus, but they were close to the same age, only six months apart. And, and so John the Baptist had a very special purpose from the time he was born to the time he died. He knew his purpose was to tell the world that Jesus was coming, to tell the world that the Messiah was coming. As we read here in John 1, we see that he was to bear witness of that light. That light is Jesus. He was, to, he was supposed to prepare the way for the Messiah or the Savior. And we know that Jesus Christ is the Savior. And John's purpose was very simple. To tell people Jesus was coming. To tell people the Messiah was coming. And when Jesus showed up on the scene, he was to say, look, there he is. That's the Messiah. That's the Lamb of God that will take away the sins of the world. That was John's special purpose. You and I have a similar purpose. Our purpose is to share the gospel of Jesus Christ too. We have the same purpose as John has. That's interesting, isn't it? And John would... And John would just tell the world about Jesus, about the coming Messiah. Now, John, he preached in some interesting places. Now, when I think of preachers or pastors, today, I usually, typically, we're going to see them in churches, right? You might see your pastor at your church, or if you go to our church, Pastor Jake, you'll see him here at church preaching in the auditorium up on the stage behind the pulpit. But preachers don't always preach there. Sometimes you see preachers out on the streets. You might see them in the woods somewhere. You might see them preaching from some stump somewhere. I know when we go on missions trips, sometimes we're just preaching the gospel wherever we go. Sometimes we preach it in schools. But John the Baptist was interesting. He preached in the wilderness. The wilderness? Yeah. That's weird, isn't it? He, he preached in the wilderness. I like the wilderness. I like going out where there ain't a lot of people. But John would go out in the wilderness and just preach about Jesus. And then he'd take them down to the river when they got saved. And he would take them to the river and get baptized. So he'd preach in the wilderness and then baptize in the river. Now, the Pharisees noticed that John was starting to draw some crowds. Lots of people were coming to hear John preach out in the wilderness. Hey, did you hear about this preacher man? This guy baptizing people in the wilderness? Yeah, John, yeah. People were starting to talk and they flocked to him. Wanted to hear what he had to say. And he was telling people about the coming Savior, about Jesus. And the Pharisees got jealous. So they sent some messengers one day to, to figure out what John was all about. Why was John drawing all these crowds? They got jealous. They were like, uh-oh, these people are going to follow John instead of us. We can't have that. So the Pharisees sent some spies, and they asked John, Who are you, John? Are you, are you the Savior? Are you the Messiah, John? Ooh, John says, no, 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 I'm not the Messiah, but... I'm sent to prepare the way for the Messiah. I'm here to tell you the Savior is coming. In fact, one day, Jesus walks up and John says, Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. And he very plainly said, Look, Jesus is the Savior. But he says, I'm not the Savior. No, I'm just, I'm not even worthy 
to loosen his sandal. Wow. I'm just here to tell you the, the king is coming. Jesus is coming. One day, John was down on the river baptizing, and this is something really special happened. Do you ever have something really special happen in your life? Do you remember when you got baptized? I remember when I got baptized, I was six years old. And I was in York, Pennsylvania when I got baptized. I got baptized my pastor, Pastor Trout. And I remember that special day. I was so excited, but Jesus got baptized too. He went down to John and said, John, baptize me. John says, no, you're the Savior. I'm not worthy to do this. He says, you should baptize me. Jesus says, no, this must be done, must be fulfilled. And so they went down in the Jordan River, and Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist. The Bible says Jesus went under the water and came back up out of the water. And when he came up out of the water, the Spirit of God descended as a dove upon Jesus. And the Heavenly Father says, Behold, my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. The Bible says that Jesus got baptized that day. And right at that moment, when he came up out of the water, we see God the Father speaking from heaven, the Holy Spirit of God descending from heaven like a dove, and we see the Son of God coming out of the water as he got baptized. And so we see all three parts of God. In one moment in time, we see the Trinity of God. I think that's pretty neat. And we see here that John the Baptist, his job was to say, hey, the Savior's coming. Not only just to say he's coming, but apparently it was his job to baptize the Savior as well. What an honor to baptize Jesus. Now, John could have went around saying, yeah, I'm the cousin of Jesus. He could have said, yeah, that's me. I'm Jesus' cousin. But he chose to be humble. He says, I'm just a voice of one crying in the wilderness. He says, I'm nobody special. He says, Jesus is special. I'm nobody important. Jesus is important. He knew that his job and his purpose in life was to point people to Christ, point people to God and to Jesus. Our purpose is the same. Know that, that we are children of God, that we praise Him, that we get to be part of His family. But we know that without Christ, we are nothing. John understood this, and we must understand this too, that the Lord gives us purpose. He gives us value. He gives us strength. Everything good in life comes from our Heavenly Father. Now, John the Baptist, it says there is none greater than him born of women, meaning of all the great men in the Bible, David, Moses, Abraham. He says, of all those men in the Bible, think of all the great men and great things that were done in scriptures. There is none greater than John. And John realized that he was nothing, but Jesus was everything. Now, boys and girls, we, we must remember this, that our everything in life has, always has to be that Jesus is everything that Jesus is all that we need. And when Jesus, I've heard it said before, when we find that Jesus is all that we have, we find that he's all that we need. And God is all that we need. So today, if you're already saved, and you already know Jesus as your Savior, praise God for that. If you've not been baptized, Come get baptized. Come to church. We'll, we'll talk to you about getting baptized. And, and come and learn and grow here at church. But if you've not been saved, call out to Christ today. John said it. He says that Jesus is the, the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Boys and girls, your sins can be washed away. Yes, they can. But only through the blood of Jesus. You see, Jesus loves you. He's God's Son. And He died for you on the cross. But he didn't stay dead. He rose from the grave, proving that he was God's son. The Bible says if you call upon him, call upon the name of the Lord, you could be saved. You must believe that Jesus is God's son, that he died for you, that he rose from the grave. You believe that in your heart? You call out to God? Tell him you're sorry for your sins, that you're sorry for what you've done. 
Lord, please forgive me. Please save me. I trust in you, Jesus. You can be saved. Your sins can be washed away. Be part of God's family. God's family is the best family you can be part of. I was just talking to Noah and Levi earlier about how we're all brothers and sisters in Christ. How through Jesus Christ we get to be part of God's family. That's why we say Brother Matt, Brother Tony. Because we are part of God's family. And we all can only get into that family through the blood of Jesus Christ. Trust in Him today. Place your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. our winner. Thank you, as always, for sending in your answer. Uh, we like to know that you're paying attention, whether it's live here at 1030 mm -hmm. or online for Junior Church. Uh, we like to give everybody a chance to win. Not live here. Live oh, not live here. Church. Yeah, not live here in the nursery. If you come and... So technical. I know. If you're older than four years old, you're not in here. You're in Junior Church. That's right. Yeah. Well, hey, live, well, not live, on video, from the nursery, it is time for this week's Question of the Week with Brother Matt. Oh, that's that, him. That's me. Wow. Oh, no. Oh, your question of the week. You can send it on in to 717-739-6536. Or if you're here, not here, back there, yeah. drop your Question of the Week answer into the white basket is this. And I can't go get the white basket this time. No. Yeah, we have him duct taped down to a seat. I know. <laughs> now your question is this. Who was the cousin of John the Baptist? Ooh. Who was the cousin of JB? JB! Hey, I'll tell you this. He, uh, he was a VIP. Very important. Actually, he was like a like a v -V -I -I, yeah, like very, very important person. If you know the answer, send it on in, and also come and be a part of Happy Campers. Happy Campers, that's right. I'm excited about our camp out. Yeah, yeah, we're bringing yeah. back the Happy Campers camp out. Yeah. Uh, so that's going to be fun this year, uh, and so we're working toward that in the month of August. Also, speaking of working toward, before we go, we had some new subscribers this Woo! week. That's right, and we are moving closer and closer. It's like we're climbing a mountain. Slowly. Climbing every mountain. Slowly, we're clo slowly climbing up there, and Reach you want to make sure that you like, you subscribe, get somebody else to subscribe, share, and comment on the videos. We've been getting some fun comments, yeah. so uh, make sure you do that, because if you are one of the commenters, when we hit that 500 mark, You'll be in the drawing to win that twenty-five dollar uh -huh, gift card. Yeah. Hey, you know, I still I haven't looked at it recently, but when we started all this, like over fifty percent of the people who watched our videos weren't subscribed. Yeah. Subscribe. Subscribe. That way, hey, hit the notification bell. So every it. time we've been doing shorts, we've been making some of our skits into shorts. So those are fun to go back and watch if you like those every Sunday. But hey, thank you for joining us today. And as always, we'll see you when next, next week. week. Bye. Bye. All right, well, looks like we got to the end of another good day. Praise the Lord, we got to baptize. That's some good yeah. positive attitude. Go. Did you finish tonight's devotions? Yep. All right. Tonight's devotions, perfectly finished. All right, well, hey. Can yeah. I say that? Got a few it, messages to return, but uh, it's been a good day. Let's let's um, put the, put doesn't sleep. Doesn't matter if you guys sleep in tonight. That's odd. Anyway, yeah. let's clean up and get ready for another day tomorrow. Yep. with us anymore. Oh, here they are. Hey, you!
you over there. Get over here. Eat this one time. You like it? Yeah, you like it? <laughs> hey, you done or are you thirsty for more? Yeah, yeah, you like that? Yeah, 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 you like what that? What are you doing? Yeah. Get out of here! Get out of here!